Okay. I'm going to be putting some of this wood stain on this utility floor. Uh, utility trailer floor. And, you know, just trying to make it look a little bit better. Okay, as you can see, I got the red, the stain on the floor. And it soaked it up pretty good, so I'm going to put some something else down there on the floor. Uh, I got these new lights, well, these tail lights, uh, six function. It's got the stop, tail, turn lamp, and it's the same, the same uh, tail lights as these are. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Um, this side here was broken off, and they're instead of painting it, I'm just going to go ahead and replace them with some new lights. Look a lot better. And so I'm going to hit, go ahead and remove that. Let's see. I got 11 millimeter. I'm going to take these two off. It's got two two nuts on, two bolts, two nuts. Take this off. And before I put these new lights on, do a little bit of sanding. And I'm going to paint the frame. So, let me go ahead and start taking this off. Wasp nest. So I think it'll just it'll look a lot better with some new lights on it. Okay, I'm gonna be let's get this side off. This one was in a lot better shape than the other one. But like I said, new lights look good on it. I'll open this up. Take these wires out. Uh, let's see, the yellow. Yellow stop and turn. And the brown, the brown uh, wire is for the tail light. Let's get the... Phillips head screws in it. There's that wasp nest I was talking about. Well, it's pretty corroded in there. There's one of the lights. Just came out. And take this flat head pull that prong back a little bit. I've never seen nothing like, like this. It's the first time I've ever seen, seen this right here like this. Just pull that prong back. Alright, that one came out. I'm trying to lean back so you guys can see that. That came out of this. Okay, on this, the tailgate back here, I used a product called, let's see, Clean Strip. It's a phosphoric acid. Uh, I just simply I put it in a bottle and sprayed that on there, helped neutralize the rust. The most all of that rust converter does this puts like a white this white residue on it. Yeah, but this so this was phosphoric acid 
Uh, now I've got my safety glasses on. You don't want to get this stuff in your eyes at all. So make sure you use your safety glasses. Before you put any paint on there, you want to make sure you get all those, those little bubbles. That once you put new paint on it, it's just going to come right off wherever, wherever you see those little bubbles at. It's still brushed. It really comes in handy on something like this. those hard to find, hard to get to places, you can take you like a, one of these little scrapers, it's got a, sort of like a, like a little razor blade, and just get in there, like that, and you can get that, get that right off there, because it's hard, it's sort of hard to get this, this brush in there, so you just take this, uh, I think this is for getting gaskets off. I want to mention this product. This WD-40. Uh, this cost a couple extra dollars more than the regular WD-40. Uh, this is rust release, rust release penetrant spray, blue torch. It is really some good stuff. And what I did is I simply sprayed a little bit in here, right there, and on the other side before I do any painting or anything like that. That way I can get this off before I start priming and painting. Uh, but it really does a good job. I mean, it really truly does. So you might want to check that out the next time you're at Home Depot or. This is where I got that at. I'm just simply, like I said, here we go again. Okay, I've just about got it completed. Um, prior to me doing this, I made sure, and I don't think that I got it, I don't think it's on the video, but prior to me doing all this, I did wash it uh, with liquid uh, soap. Got all the grease off, uh, the dirt and grease, because you don't want to sand that in. You don't want to sand uh, grease or uh, you know into the metal. So I'd washed it all off real good and started the sanding with the steel brush. Now what I'm going to do? Take this hose. And just go around. You see that white, white residue just sort of comes right off. And we have to hit the front side. Okay, I just got through rinsing it off with the water hose. Now, it's not really a sunny day and I hope it, it does not rain. It looks like it's going to rain. It's not supposed to. But I'm just going to simply, I've got my wand here, I'm just going to blow it off there. Here's the paint that I will be using. Uh, Rust-Oleum Universal Paint and Primer in one. Okay, in certain areas where it was still needed something else, some more, a little bit of more rust protection on it. 
Uh, I went ahead and used this Valspar anti-rust primer. Um, just in certain areas where it didn't look like it it needed some extra more protection on it. But it'll what it'll do is just help uh, double protection, help to make sure that that rust doesn't come back through in certain places on it. But most of it was neutralized with that acid. And uh, so, but I'm going ahead and spray it with this Valspar anti-rust primer. And that way, just give it some, give it a little bit more protection. You can, I've used this on a lot of things. Uh, it's good for surface rust. Especially if you got some old car sitting outside you, you know. It's got some, uh, it's getting surface rust on it. You just sand it down. Sand it, get the get the get the rust off there, and spray it with this rust converter. By the way, I wanted to let you know before you do any of that, if you do have any loose uh, that steel mesh there, if it's any loose, you know, be sure you get your MIG welder out and weld that before doing any, any of painting. So check, make sure that 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 you check that before you get this far in the process of it. So now. I'm gonna wear I got a little mask here I'm gonna put on I'm gonna start the paint job. I've mixed this can shake this can for about several minutes now. So it's shaking up pretty well. Hold it about I believe they recommend eight to twelve inches from the whatever you're gonna be spraying. All right, I'm starting on my second can, and just got a little bit back here in the back. I got all this section, so I'm going to try to hit this here in the middle. Okay, what I've done, I've got the trailer up under some, uh, up under this garage here. It looks like it's going to rain, and knowing my luck, it will. As soon as I put the primer down, it'll start raining. So I put this, uh, you've got the utility trailer up under the garage. Uh, the, the fender that you're looking at right now, I took it down to bare metal. The, the paint was dead on it. I was doing some sanding on it, and it the paint kept uh, kept chipping off, coming off, so I just went ahead and took the whole thing down to bare metal. Eastwood, Eastwood Pre, uh, it removes silicone, wax, polish, grease, dirt, helps promote paint adhesion, easy spray on, wipe off application. I'm going to spray it on, I'm going to wipe it off with this microfiber towel here. And that way I won't leave any kind of uh, lint or anything like that on it. These microfiber towels are, are coming real nice for something like this. Okay, I'm going to use this Valspar anti-rust primer. I've already sh shaken it up for a couple of minutes. So let me go ahead and...
Okay, that frame there, I neutralized the rust on it, but it's still pretty rusty. I'm going to put this Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer uh, twice the rust protection superior adhesion for ultimate finish on heavily rusted metal. You can just paint this right over that. Like I said, I did I neutralize the rust with some uh, rust. Let's see here. I'm going to hit, go ahead and spray this in here. Next step, I'm going to go around the whole trailer, use this prep all. Clean strip makes it prep all wax and grease remover. Uh, same thing, removes wax, grease, sanding, residue, silicone, road film, cleans and degreases metal, plastic, and fiberglass surfaces. I'm going to go around the whole vehicle and wipe it all down, remove the sanding, uh, the the dust, any grease, anything like that that's on it, and uh, before I before I paint it, and so and also the areas that are heavily rusted that I did neutralize the rust, I'm still going to spray some of that rust oleum that I showed you a little while ago that I put inside that frame. I'm going to put it in areas that are that are pretty pretty badly rusted, and put it in that area. Spray that on there. So let me get started. around areas that are still pretty heavily rusted. About the only way to really hit stuff like that is with a sandblaster. Uh, but I didn't want to go that far with it. I, I can, uh, I know I can get it done the way I wanted to without having to go with that sandblaster. It's a lot of sanding but uh, areas like that right there, I've already neutralized the rust and so I'm putting this uh, this rusty metal primer over that and then I'll put the paint over it. Okay, before painting this fender here, I'm going to go ahead and sand it down. Give the paint something to bite into. Alright, let's put some color on. give it a new new paint job. It's been a good lawnmower. It says I've waited a couple of minutes. I've waited about five minutes, uh, somewhere around five minutes. It says apply. Let's see here. I'm sorry. Apply two or more light coats a few minutes apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second coat. A 
Okay, this is after me shooting three coats of the, uh, the flat black from Rust-Oleum. Uh, this here. I gotta say that I really like that paint. Uh, I put three coats, thin coats, on the frame and one can lasted on half of the trailer, on half of this utility trailer. And it's a 5x10 utility trailer. So one can, I was able to put, uh, well it took me a half, a uh, little bit of the other second can. But I was able to get, shoot the whole half of the utility trailer with three coats of paint. Another thing I want to say about this paint, I will continue to buy this paint. It is one of the first rattle cans uh, that I have ever used that doesn't spit. This, I, this paint has not spit once with me. Not one time. Now watch you do it right after I'm saying this, but honest to God, it has not, it has not spit one time with me. That's what really runs a paint job is when you're painting it's trying the can you know, you're sitting there painting and it starts spitting. Not one time have I had that happen to me. Double cover technology, that's true. So, this is one product. One, one of the very few, and I always, uh, you know, I'll let you know when I use it. If, it's, if, if I like it, I'm going to let people know that actually does what it says.